Nobody knows? Should you check the Bible? Luke 4, 43. Let's open there. Luke 4, 43. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. From Luke, you go to John. Chapter 4, verse 43. What's your name, please? Your name? Your name? Rita. Rita. Okay, Rita, read it for me, please. Luke 4, 43. Luke 4, 43. Praise God. Rita is reading Luke 4, 43. It's the word of Jesus is reading. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 4, verse 43. Mm -hmm. But he said to them. But he said to them, who is speaking here? Jesus. Who is speaking? Jesus. He said to them, uh huh. I must preach the kingdom of God mm -hmm. to the other cities mm -hmm. also because for this purpose I have been sent. Amen. Amen. He said, you can sit down. He said, told them, I must eat moot. I must do what? Preach what? What must Jesus preach? What must he preach? And he followed up and said to other cities, why should Jesus do that? Because, no, look in your Bible. Because that was sent. You nearly hit it. That is why I am sent. Jesus is giving the reason why God gave him as a gift. He has come and preached God's kingdom because that's the reason why he was sent. So he took many parables. Every time he said the kingdom of God is like this, the kingdom of God is like this. Every time kingdom, 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 kingdom. So what upon it? Jesus said. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And 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 how many things? How many things? You see that? So the content of Jesus the Christ is a presentation of God's kingdom. Amen. But we are stuck with the name Jesus. Oh, I bombard my enemies in Jesus' name. Oh, the rest of my cousin, everything, Jesus, Jesus. Even when they're falling out, Jesus. When we're eating, Jesus. What about the content, the Christ? Why are we not able to open up the Christ and see what's inside of him? We have become like Mr. A in the story. We cherish the envelope given to us. We will die and the envelope will be wasted, taken away from us. Just said a parable that there was a sower who went to sow seed. Some fell along path, some in tongues, some on rocks, some on the roadside. When he was completing, he said, There are people when they hear the good news of the kingdom and they don't understand, Satan himself comes and steals it from them. Satan's not, Satan's not coming for your money, mm -mm. not for your iPhone, no. Not for your boyfriend or for your husband. No, 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 no. He's coming to take away the little knowledge you know about the kingdom. Because this kingdom thing, if you know what it is, eh, how bad? Your life will be, will be different. You will change automatically. But I'm not going there today. So the content of our Jesus given to us by God as a gift is the Christ, the Messiah, who came to present God's kingdom. So Isaiah said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Why is he saying a child and a son? The child is the container, and the son is the, the, the Christ. And then he went for let me read it. Isaiah 43, Isaiah 9, 6. Okay, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. His name shall be called Emmanuel. The word Emmanuel means God with us. In means inside. Man means my kind. El is Elohim. So Emmanuel means God inside man. His name shall be called the Wonderful Counselor, the Prince of Peace, the Mighty One. So he is carrying all these things with him. Once upon a time he said, I will give you the keys 
of the kingdom. The keys are where? Inside the box. But we are stuck with the box on the outside. Every day, oh, how purple is the box? It is metal, there's a few inches. Oh, how sick of my dose? Talking every day about the outside, but the inside we forget. So this Christmas day, brothers and sisters, what I want to help you with, or give to you is, open up Jesus. There is a Christ in him. This Christ is a God we say. He came with authority and power so that you will have power over every circumstance that you face. He says alone is not the issue. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Here is the way. It's not the end. It's like he's the door to the room. But when you read the door, you say, wow, what a beautiful door. It's made of a cedar wood. It's painted Christ. And the, and the hand frame is silver, steel. Oh, what a beautiful door. The door is three meter high. Oh, what a door. Oh, what a beautiful door. And you go back home. <laughs> Would you guys watch inside your room? No. What do you have to do? Open the door. Go inside the room are the things you need. Breakthrough. Good mind to study at school. Good ideas. All these things are in Christ. That's why he said, and he came to his own, but his own received him not. But though that he received him, he gave them power to become the children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. But why have you received him, but you don't open him up? You become like Mr. A in the story. You will die with your envelope. I love Jesus. Oh, I love this. And so what? Me to love him. But open him up and see the content. And see the content. I'm about to end. But I know this Christmas, but I always receive a gift from a friend, from a family. Just as much as you will open that box to see what is in it, I challenge you today to open Jesus. Ah, Christ. Are we blessed? Yes. Are we blessed? Yes. yes. Let's come for Jesus. Amen. Christmas, then you have to go home to your families, right? So let's go on our feet. We are going to pray shortly, very shortly.